Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a quick look at printing our test cube on the uh, Monoprice Select Mini. So uh, one of the viewers, uh, regular viewers, uh, which also has a pretty cool channel, RJ Make, had uh, asked to see the Z resolution or, or about the Z resolution. So I thought this would be a, an interesting quick video for those out there who are interested in the Monoprice to uh, see how it actually performs. So let's go ahead and print this test cube and then let's take a real close look at it and you'll see what I mean when we come back. So let's head over to the time lapse. Okay, so we took a quick look at this being uh, printed in time-lapse and what we're going to do is we have it off the printer and it came out uh, pretty nice so um, I want to go ahead and do some quick measurements on it and that is not 60.1 millimeters my uh, Harbor Freight set of calibers has been acting up so um, as we see it's right around 20 20 20.1 so that's pretty good let's check this 19.9 uh, to almost 20 and height wise it looks like I might need to do a little bit adjustment on the Z because I'm at uh, 19.5, 19.6, so I'm a ways off on that. So I'm going to have to do some look at doing some adjustments on that. Um, however, let's go back to RJ Make's original um, kind of question statement. So let's take a quicker, let's take a quick and a closer look at this. So uh, one of the things we're going to now do is jump over and take a close look at magnified look at this and you'll notice that how the um, uh, how it lines up so what I've done is I've used you know this gauge against it each one of the marks are uh, obviously a millimeter to go against here and there should be roughly 10 um, lines per millimeter because I printed it at point 0.1 layer height and then uh, I tell you what let's zoom in a little bit closer and really take a close look at it and see what it looks like so um, it looks pretty good I mean when we look at the overall layering of this it, it comes out well um, one of the other things though I want to jump back and take a look at the hole so you know one of the things that the arm processor is supposed to be a 32-bit and it was I think it was on Hackaday or something that I read the review that uh, again the resolution was supposed to be better so let's go ahead let's take a quick look close-up look at the hole itself so uh, what we're looking at right now is the hole magnified uh, by about 250 times and so um, you can kind of see a little bit of the imperfections in the hole. Now, I tell you what, let's compare this to the Wan Hao. So I'm going to show a side-by-side -side comparison. So the same cube printed on the Wan Hao. And uh, so I'll show kind of like, whoops, throw, throw it on the floor. So I'll show uh, half and half of the cube. So on the one side, you see the um, the more muted is, is the... Uh, uh, printed on the mono price mini select and then on the uh, so uh, I think as you're looking at it it's going to be your right hand side is going to be the mono price and on the left hand side is going to be the one how so I, I think it looks pretty close and actually I think the one how might actually beat it out a little bit so I'm not sure if there is truth to the arm being better or high, higher resolution um, I'd have to do some more tests with the plastic uh, to see because it might be in the plastic because I did print this at 203 degrees C and I believe I printed on the one how at 200 and it is different uh, filament um, this is uh, kind of a cheaper filament where the uh, one how is a hatch box filament so um, anyways I think this is pretty interesting all in all though I'm very impressed with the the uh, monoprice mini select and its performance and uh, again I'm gonna have to do 
do a little bit of height adjustment um, after measuring this and uh, see how it performs but uh, in general I really like the way that it lays down the Z so again made this uh, video a little bit spur of the moment because uh, RJ make uh, kind of threw that out there and I was kind of interested in it um, and especially with the performance of this so hopefully you found this interesting if you're thinking about buying a mono price mini hey it's a great little printer so I uh, highly suggest it and uh, hey give it a thumbs up give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel a lot more coming any questions hit me up below and uh, again if you want to see something specific hey feel free to let me know and we'll see you in the next video cheers Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects